Hi guys, Jack here from Ecoscaping with Jack and today's video is really special because I'm going to share with you all how I created this beautiful scape and I know this scape is being loved a lot online wherever I'm sharing all the photos but I want to give the full credit to my client who actually done all the planting, done all the lighting and also under the cabinet some of the photos that you're gonna see uh, how he lighted up the cabinet inside is really awesome so full credit to him what he has done but in this video i will be sharing with you the making of the hardscape and also he done the planting and the final look after four weeks so please do have a look at this video and look it till the end because whole process will be shown there here what you can see is how i started this scape with one little piece of a root and I'm adding some rocks to it. And after that, I will be building it all the way up and how different roots will be added. So you will see the complete process one step at a time, how this whole scape was done. So the tank size uh, for this is, uh, it, it might look big in the, in the final photographs, but the tank size that you will see here is only 60 by 30 by 36 and uh, it's not very big tank uh, it's a standard two foot tank but the way this scape was done is to make it look bigger and also the way the planting was done by the client he used a lot of small plants and that was my uh, you know suggestion to him that use a lot of small plants with because it will make the whole scape look bigger now what their vision was that they wanted a nice root system or a trunk of the tree coming inside the tank and when it goes out they want few branches and then light should integrate with it and you can see in some of the final photos uh, when the light is added to the tank it looks really nice and again you know uh, big credit to my client who had a vision and uh, it really helps me to create a design when the client is really clear in their idea and that's what this client was super clear with the idea and i'm really glad i was able to create something unique for them so i will let you guys watch this video of how i joined all the pieces together using jag aquatics glue and after that i did put a cement slash epoxy on it to make it really strong because it was delivered in melbourne to my client personally but you can have a look at the complete video and at the end i also discuss how the planting was done which plants were used and what's the final outcome so i really hope you will like this video and i will see you at the end of the video daisies blooming sundress swaying in the breeze can't stop staring You've put a spell on me And I hope That you never Decide to set me free The way you're moving It's got me moving my own feet the greatest feeling that I could ever dare to dream Is you forever moving next to me Let's not waste time or take this slow We've got miles behind us but miles to go So let's just break this down To the simplest truth Just break this down to the 
When I went for Underwater Pet Expo in Melbourne, I took this cape with me and personally delivered him. And he done all the setup on his end, adding the sand, soil, extra rocks. And also you can see a beautiful lighting around the tank, a nice background. And also under the cabinet, that neon effect, plus the whole complete, you know, filtration system and CO2 system. It, he set it up really nicely and big thumbs up to him. So all these pictures that he sent me of plants, I did ask him that if he can send me that, I will add to the video. So really big thanks to him. Uh, he documented it nicely. So here you can see that he's using tissue culture plants and also some of the submerged plants and moss that he bought online. You can see here he's using Blixia japonica, mini secadu, which is bucket flandria, pongolino, micro java fern, nana petite, and Christmas moss. So Christmas moss is used on the roots of the uh, tree and also some of the tissue culture a couple of tissue culture plants that he bought from Pisces 
And uh, next you can see that um, on the root system of the tree, we will be using Christmas moss. And as you can see here is uh, he glued all that on the front of the tree and slowly working his way backwards. So I did help him that uh, with the positioning of the Christmas moss, but he executed it really nicely. And after that, he's adding some background plants, some plants on the right, like Balixia, and also added some Anubis nana petite and um, little uh, rhizomes, which uh, which basically helps to make the tank look really uh, bigger or the aquascape to look, uh, look bigger than it is. So next, he is filling in the water and he's using mustard soil at the back. And what I suggested to him that if he can fill the water really slow, uh, it will pretty much make the water look clear from day one. And that's what he done. It's just that it's a time lapse, so you can see it filling it faster. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he done that. And after that, he also sent me a shot after four weeks, which you can see here. Beautiful growth. Plants are growing really nice and everything looks so healthy. I'm really happy that the way this client pulled the whole scape by himself. So I just delivered him the hard scape, but there's a lot of work that he done by himself and big thumbs up to him. And anyone can do that. Uh, so how I help them is I create a hard scape. I tell them where to plant uh, or where to place the plants. And after that, they can do everything by themselves. So that way you save the money. Uh, and also what you can do is you can do by yourself and feel much more satisfied and also learn through the whole process. Guys, if you love this video, then please do subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, do ask me in the comment section and I'm more than happy to reply straight away. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Be safe. Take care. Bye. Daisies blooming, sundress swaying in the breeze.